But in terms of ABC costing, what we're going to do is to split up the total overheads, the total amount of overheads into activities. And these are the activities that we have for this company. They are already identified for us. We just have to take them into consideration when we are, when you are actually sitting your exam. Um, it will be given something similar to you in your examination. You will not, ha you don't have to identify the activities and the cost driver themselves. They will be given to you in the exam. Maybe not such a nice tabular format, but in the text. So this company has actually four activities: setups, parts handling, other material handling, and other handlings. For which, remember these are the activities, is step one out of your ABC costing method. Then you have the cost drivers also given to you, that's step two, right? So the, for the setup cost, the, the driver is the number of the setups. For parts handling, the driver is the number of the parts that we are using. For other materials handling, the number of the patches is driving the costs, while for other handling, the number of the orders, probably this last one, is related strictly to the um, handling of the final products towards the customer. Remember that when we use ABC methods, uh, method, we identify the activities and the cost drivers in the company and in the company's activity, but it will be never possible to allocate all the costs into activities. So there will be always a remaining part, a balancing figure from the total pool of the costs that will remain they're basically unallocated to any activities. And in this situation, here we have them as other overheads amounting up to $360,000 and that will be allocated when using the ABC method on the same method as we use for traditional costing and that will be in this case labor hours. As a disadvantage of ABC cost, ABC method would be that um, the higher the part, the other overheads that cannot be allocated to activities is in the total of the overheads the less relevant is the ABC method because then we are using the same method to allocate those overheads as in traditional costing and the relevance will be lower. So the first requirement of our question would be to calculate the total production cost of products A and B for this company using the traditional method. This will mean just that we add up to the direct material costs the overheads, the allocated overheads to one product. The overheads will be allocated based on the labor hours and we just allocate the total amount of the overheads. For this, if I hope you remember, we need to calculate something that is called the overhead absorption rate that is equal to the budgeted amount of the overheads, overheads divided by the budgeted volume. Right, so we know in our situation, the budgeted amount of the overheads is just what we have here up, $512,230 divided by the budgeted volume in this situation, as I told you, it will be the direct labor hours that will amount up to one hour per product A and two hours for product B. And we know what's our annual production and sales. So the total labor hours during the year will be one hour for a product A I'll note here A plus two hours for a product B. Right, and that will be amounting up to 3,600 hours. And then the OR, the overhead absorption rate, will be amounting to 142. let's say $142 per hour. Note that this is per hour. So it means that the total cost for products A and B, when we use traditional costing, will be, we have the direct costs, which are given to us, $12 per unit for an A, $24 for a unit B, and then the overheads, will be, we use one hour for a product A, so we'll allocate one time our overhead absorption rate, $142. And we are using two labor hours for product B, 
So that will amount up to $154 for a product A and $308 for a product B. So using the traditional costing method, I put up here for you traditional method, one unit of product A costs us $154, one unit of product B costs us $308. In the next session, we are going to deal with the same similar type of calculation, just using ABC method. So we'll end up with another full cost of the product, but using a different method.